私は魔女教大罪司教タイだったんとペテルギウスロマネコンティです<笑><笑>Hi everybody. Well,、uh, first,、uh, sorry that I didn't upload stuff since a while.、Uh, it's just that I'm making a level and each two seconds I have a new ID、uh, that I want to integrate. So, to keep you waiting, here is a video where I will show you a quick tutorial about、uh, little stuff I discovered playing and testing with,、uh, with Unreal Blueprint. So, I will show you first how to play with Random Idle for Max. It's,、uh, it's an easy way to blend different、uh, idle randomly. Uh, me personally, I'm not really using this method because、uh, I need to have a bit more access to the idle during coding. But、uh, it's a simple and cool feature inside the engine.、Uh, then I will show you、uh, how to call and rotate the face and eyes, or any part of the skeleton you want,、uh, directly inside the level, as、uh, you have seen in the intro video. So,、uh, first, I'm just putting the model of Max inside the level. Inside the、um, animation blueprint, I will go to the ba base state and、uh, for the final animation pause, I will search the node、uh, random sequence、uh, player. Then I enable the shuffle mode and you can add as many animations you want to blend. In the sequence, I add my、uh, different animation, for example, the idle or the wait animation. And I leave the blend in at、uh, 0.2. It's enough for,、uh, for the ideal animation. Then you compile. And now Max will randomly blend between these animations. Easy. Okay, now in the root of the anim graph, I will add my、uh, transform node.、Uh, the node who will allow me to rotate bones of the skeleton. So, click right and search transform modify bone. Here, I just need the, the rotation, so I will uncheck the scale and the translate pin. Change rotation mode to add to existing and、uh, rotation space as a、uh, one space. Connect the state machine to the component pose. And in bone to modify, I select the head. Now we'll copy past the transform node for the left and right eyes, and I will connect all. In the second node, I change the bone to modify to the left eyes and for the last node to the right eyes. Now I will promote to variable each rotation pin one for the head, one for the left eyes, and one for the right.
then I compile, and if you try change value in the preview editor, you will see the face or eyes of Max moving. And uh, that's all for the animation blueprint. Now in the level blueprint, I will call the variable for uh, move the face of Max. I'm using this uh, most for the cinematic, not really for uh, for the for the level uh, for the playing level. I will create a custom event that I will call update face. And I will cast to the max animation blueprint. In object, I will uh, search uh, the anim instance. And uh, connect it to the model of uh, of Max uh, from uh, from the level. Then I will search from the node uh, the variable left eyes and right eyes. And I will add an interpolation for them. Uh, the interpolation will add a smooth effect for the rotation. I will connect to the current the variable of the eyes. And in the target, I will uh, create a variable that uh, will allow me to control later the rotation of the eyes. As delta time, uh, you can connect the get world delta second node or uh, just create from the event tick uh, a delta variable.
in the interpolation speed, I will add a speed of 4. More high is this number, more fast the rotation will be executed. And a more little number will make, uh, make it more slow. Now I will do the same for the head rotation. In the event tick, then I will connect the function update face. And now I will create a key who will allow me to edit the variable that I uh, just create. Here I choose the K of the keyboard. I will create a flip-flop. And I will set my variable head and eyes. So in R, I will add the rotation. And in B, I will reset them to zero. So you can test with some number for X, Epsilon and uh, Z. Compile and uh, we can go to test. Okay, because the character blueprints have collision, it's a bit difficult to see uh, from another player. So I will just change the auto process player to player zero from the character and the level. And, uh, and for show it better, I will even disconnect the random uh, idle node. So now when I will click on uh, K, uh, Max will rotate the eyes and head. And uh, when I will click it back, it will uh, come back to zero. You can change value and, uh, and test again.
what we can even do it's uh, that after a delay max will uh, rotate it, or rotate the the face in uh, in different direction and changing the interpolation speed, we can accelerate or slow down the movement. You can connect back the random sequence, it will work the same, but uh, the result will depend if the original idol uh, have already a head rotation or not. Like I say, I'm using now this trick for the cinematic, so for the dialogue animation, uh, when in general the character don't have any animation for the head. Okay, that's all. Uh, so thanks again for the support and the comment. And uh, thanks for my patron in Patreon. I will uh, finally link you to, to, to the demo map uh, with Chloe. Uh, it's already uploaded, so I will just uh, give you the link uh, um, after I post uh, this video. So, see you, and uh, if you have any question, just ask in the comments.